Hey everyone, welcome to Intelligent Capture. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to load 35mm film. We're going to be doing this on a Minolta X570. It's a pretty basic camera, so it should be pretty similar to whatever you have at home. Today we're going to be loading up a standard roll of 35mm film. It's Fuji Color Superior Extra. And we're going to be using this on Sunday when we film episode 3. So let's go ahead and get started. This should go pretty quick. You're going to want to look for this rewind lever. Most cameras have them and they flip out so that you can rewind the film when you're done. And you're going to just tug on the whole apparatus and that'll pop the back of the camera out. Some can be a little harder to pull than others, so just give it a nice solid tug. The rewind lever moves this little pole on the inside up and down, and that keeps your film in place. So for now, we're gonna lift it up and out of the way so that our film will go in, and we'll grab the film. And you can see on the flat side of the film, there's this little hole here, so we want that pole to go into the hole. So go ahead and stick your film in, flatten it out, and press the rewind lever area straight down to lock the film into place. So the idea here is to get the leader of the film into one of the slots on the winder on the right. It's a little slot right down in there. So that's our target. So we're just gonna hold the film down and pull it across the back of the camera to insert the leader into the slot. There's a little tooth on the winder that will catch the hole in the film and then these little sprockets right here that will pull the film through as it's being wound. So we're gonna go ahead and give that two winds. Make sure you press the shutter button in between winds or the film advance will be stuck. So shutter button. Once that's done, close the back of the camera and find the exposure counter here. We wanna wind that from S for start to zero. After you wind it, you're on your first exposure and you're good to go. Turn your camera off and you're done. It's pretty easy. Thanks for watching Intelligent Capture. There's going to be more of these in the future to help you out as you get started. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And keep an eye out for the next video. We'll see you then.